Okay, so here's the new Star Speeder 1000 at Disneyland. Uh, so it comes with the R2-D2 and I got to see one over at the display case. This is really cool looking uh, with authentic lights and sound. The R2-D2 isn't really a figure part of it, but he's cool. He'll fit in there. It'll look nice in there. Uh, it's all really cool. If we turn to the back, here's the front. If we turn the back, it shows all the little features. Save that for later. So yeah. And here's the Star Wars Travel Agency set, or the Star Tours Travel Agency. It comes with uh, five droids, a, or five figures. A signal droid, Ali Samson, Ace-38, which is the main character of the new ride. He's really cool. Uh, C-3PO, and a luggage attendant. We have two suitcases, and we have two stands for, I'm presuming, those two first droids. And yeah, looks just looks really cool. What's up? Uh, we are at the McFarlane Toys Store, and they have some stuff. Like it's, it's it's different from when I came here a few years ago. They have the new Batman figures actually, which is cool. They have a lot of cool stuff. They have ponies and Star Wars too. They have the new uh, Rock Out Ghoul figure, the uh, Gotham City Police Department Blake figure. There's both variants of Catwoman, and then there's Batman. They don't have Alfred uh, or what's his name Bane yet, or Gordon, but uh, they have those. And then they have pretty much just hey, the new Halo figures, which uh, look cool on display here. They're about decent price, these are. Uh, these, we've got some at the bottom. He's 50 bucks, I believe. That one is 60, that one's 30, that one is 25, and that one looks like to be 80. That's uh, Halo Wars over there. We see Warthogs, those are 80. It's crazy. You can find them online for like way cheap. Uh, the new generator packs, pretty much just older Halo ones, uh, but they do have, uh, with these, <clears throat> with the uh, blue armor pack, you get the uh, Halo uh, Awards exclusive. It looks like they put, like, the blue recon armor or something on the bottom, which uh, is actually pretty cool, and that's actually just 27 bucks. Uh, but I don't have enough of that, so I won't be getting that. Uh, this is also a cool pack. They have all of these for about 27 bucks. Over here, we can see the new Predator figures. I'm not exactly sure if they're all new, because I haven't exactly started collecting these yet, but at some point. Uh, they look pretty cool. Got some Gears of War figures. We have Resident Evil, Left 4 Dead, Blah. And then there are some cool uh, Star Wars ones over here. Uh, really nothing too new. Uh, there's him, which I was thinking about getting and decided against it. Really nothing too new. They have a few loose figures for like five bucks, and then they have uh, her for five bucks. They have Stuff. Some of their stuff here is a pretty decent price, but some of it is uh, a tad bit expensive. <coughs> we have the new Anakin, which I should have waited to get here, the new Obi-Wan, figures like that. Uh, also, before I go, they've got some Doctor Who figures that are about 19 bucks each figure, so uh, those are pretty cool. Probably just continue buying them at Hastings, though. And then we have the new Ninja Turtles, like every one of them from the wave, including the Shredder. Yeah, I'm going to, once again, get those at Toys R Us, though. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep collecting. Bye. Hey, YouTube, I'm at my Toys R Us, and they actually got some Mass Effect figures in. Uh, granted, they are $20 each, which is crazy, but they have uh, Thane, Tolly, and Grunt, I believe. Yeah, just... Uh, Two Tullys, two Grunts, and one Thane. Uh, so, still, I'm looking to get my Tully and my Thane, so I will probably be checking back here more often than I thought. Uh, so, check your local Twitter if you're looking for the Mass Effect figures.
Okay, uh, so once again at Toys R Us, because they do have a few new things, just not uh, all of the stuff I was hoping, but they have the uh, Brute Chopper for 13 bucks, which is really cool. They have the old Revenant set, which is a uh, still cool set. Uh, they have this, which I have found at a Target, uh, which is in my, one of my other videos, with the EOD slash Scout and then the Toolies and the Wraith. And then we have a Seraph uh, with three elites, uh, uh, Halo 4 packaging. We get over here, and we have a cool set that is a Flood Siege, it says. This is, uh, I've seen it online before, and it does look really cool. It comes with a Grenadier, an Air Assault, a Flood Combat form, and a Flood Infection form. Uh, this looks like a really, really nice set, and one that I do want to end up getting. I believe it is... Fifty-eight ninety-nine. Not sure. Uh, <clears throat> one set I will definitely end up getting. Comes with a bubble shield, a machine gun, some weapons, and four troopers for army building. I mainly want it for the ODST since I'm a huge ODST collector and a huge ODST fan. It comes with a UNSC Spartan, ODST, and UNSC Marines. Uh, and that is eighteen dollars, I believe. I think so. Can I get it? And then we have this. Not last. Uh, two more sets. We have this with a uh, marine and a rhino, a scout, and a couple grunts. You can see all up here. And it says an armory set, so it switches to a. Is that a recon? Oh wow, I think that's a red recon that we're finally getting. That's actually really nice. Uh, so this set will probably be way up on my want list. Unless it's $140, because that is a bit, bit crazy, bit for just that set. And then we have the one right by it, about the same size box for $50, $49.99. And it is the third Battlescape. And I, I want the, I want the uh, previous ones also. This one looks like it comes with a couple of uh, the guys from Halo Wars, which uh, looks really nice actually. Uh, but it could be some Forerunners from Halo 4. Uh, yeah. Forerunner Enforcement, Forerunner Sinatol, UNSC Spartan. It looks kind of like they did the new Halo 4 Spartan. Uh, so yeah. Got some really, really cool new stuff. I do want that set. I should probably go ring that and that one up to see if they just accidentally did a wrong price. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep collecting. Bye. Hey YouTube, what's up? Post and Sun Seven Two again, and uh, so pretty much right back here. I just rung this set up and this set, and they were the prices they said. This one was seventeen ninety nine plus tax. Uh, but since it's a Toys R Us exclusive, I'm going to have to end up forking over the money at some point because I do want that set. That has been a one of mine. And then we have the uh, one with the Red Recon and the Rhino, which I did want. 822 uh, piece set, so I guess I can see why it's a um, $142 set. So, uh, yeah, I, that one may be somewhere on the Christmas list at some point. You know, maybe birthday list or something. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you for watching, and until the next time, keep collecting. Hey YouTube, this is Boba7772, and today I'm here at Target at the MLP aisle. Uh, they got some new stuff, which is really cool. They have a couple of the new uh, three packs. They have the one with Rainbow Dash, Gilda, and a Wonder Bolt. They have the one with Big Mac, Applejack, and Granny Smith. And the one with uh, Twilight, Cadence, and Shining Armor. Which is pretty much the only three that they came out with. Um, something else cool is these three little plushies of Pinkie Pie, Twilight, and Rainbow Dash. Uh, they're they're decent. I may come back and get maybe the Rainbow Dash. Uh, they're five bucks. And then uh, I don't really care for this one too much. It's like a, a deluxe set of the uh, bigger versions of Shining Armor and Princess Cadence. 
And then a set that I do want, since I collect the Brush of Old Hair Ponies, is a castle set. They have it for 35 bucks. Really cool looking. Uh, comes with Shining Armor and Cadence once again. So yeah, uh, I'm going to come back soon and hopefully get that set and uh, the Rainbow Dash. And then uh, hoping to get a few of these at some point. Uh, especially I want this one for Gilda and I haven't found the Rainbow Dash. Mystery pack one yet. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, there might be more stuff. What's up? This is Boba7772. Uh, so I came to Target today to look for mainly two things the new Batman movie masters figures, uh, mainly Catwoman, Rock Al Ghul, and Blake. And then I also came to look for the Halo, new Halo figures. And I went to one Target. They were like, oh yeah, we can't release them until tomorrow. Sorry. I was like, fine, whatever. And then I came to the old one, and they actually had stuff. So, uh, they didn't have any of the Batman figures. And with the Halo figures, uh, I came here, and I was a bit disappointed, because that was all that they had for the Halo figures. So I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, I went to go ask and see if they had any in the back. And the guy was like, oh, no, we have everything out on show. They didn't send us much early, but they sent us some stuff. I was just looking, and I was like, ah, oh. turned around. What do I see? They have two of these Halo 4 packs, which let me show you real fast. So yeah, two of these, which just look awesome. I am glad that I found it, and I will be doing a review on that. So I'm like, oh, they don't have the cryopod or any of the Avatar figures. So I was all sad. Then... I made the decision to turn the aisle, like I usually do, and look at the new Halo Mega Box, see if they have anything new. They have part of the high ground, uh, the gate part, and then they had a cryopod chief, which I also ended up grabbing. And then aside from those, they have the Avatar ones, which you can see over there for three bucks. So, you know, I'm going to get like maybe one or two of them. Uh, so yeah, be respect, be expecting reviews on all this stuff. Uh, until next time, keep collecting.